today we are going to be having some fun hey hey sister coach how are you guys doing it's me johnny sports and welcome today my friends we are rebuilding mallorca now i am from germany guten tag <laughs> i know for a fact that Mallorca is the party destination for most Germans out here. I don't know if people around the world know this, but in Mallorca, if you go to a hotel, most of them speak German in there. Everyone that works there has to be able to speak German, I reckon, because our country just floods that space every single summer. And for that reason, we are going to be rebuilding Mallorca, but we're going to be bringing in some drunk Germans into the club. Oh my god, god. This is going to be the German takeover of Mallorca. We're going to see what we can pull off right here. I'm very excited about this rebuild because I'm 100% sure this is going to be so much fun. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I hope you guys will be enjoying it. We're going to go ahead and try and dominate the Spanish league because currently it's not looking good for Mallorca. So as you can see right now, Mallorca is on the 18th position, about to go down a division into the Segunda División. And uh, they have lost their last five matches. Not a lot of time left for them to, to save themselves. So that's where we come in as a community and where the Germans are going to be flooding into this team. Now, one thing I need to say is, I'm not going to bring in just Germans, so don't you worry. But mainly, the focus is going to be the star players that I want to build up in this career mode have to be German, all right? We can build around them with a couple of others. But the main ones that perform, like the striker and such, they have to be German. It just has to happen. So when we look at this Mallorca team, we have a couple of players that are very much talented and could be big players in this squad. Lee Kangin is a big one for us. Then we do have Takefusa Kubo, who actually only is a loaned-in player. So that could be an issue uh, because obviously we're going to lose him after this season. But easily could replace him with a German lad, a drunk lad coming in to party. That'd be nice. Uh, Pablo Maffeo is a big one as well. Good potential on this young man on that right-back spot. Other than that, though, we don't have anyone really that stands out within this team in terms of players that I personally like. We do have Fer Nino, who is a decent option as a backup. He has some potential in him, to be fair. So he could be a big player as well in the future. But as I said, I would like to have some of the spearheads of this team be German players. Now, in the first season, I am going to be selling a bunch of players. He starts off with 2.85 mil. But I'm sure I can change that in one second. <laughs> Bang! Here we go. 28 million to spend. And what I had to do for it? Well, my friends, we had to let go of a bunch of players. Take a look at that. A club clear out, so to say. 34-year-old Angel is gone. Grenier is gone. Rodriguez is gone. Galareta is gone. Raio has left the club. Junior has returned from loan just to be sold. Prats is gone as well. And Reina has left. And obviously, the preseason tournament is finished as well, which brought in a nice amount of money since we actually managed to win it. So we're right before the first game of the season. And as things stand, this is what we have left. And it's obviously not ideal. By the way, Ndiaye used to be a big talent, I just realized. So maybe we can bring back his potential. Would be nice. Uh, we'll give him a chance. But uh, yeah, this is the lineup that we have at the moment. Ideally, I want to bring in some big players here into that center back position. And of course, into the striker position. And uh, yeah, the rest will probably have to remain the same. It all depends on the budget, of course. So we'll see how that goes. This guy looks way too old to be playing. He's 37. Why are you still playing? You're not you're not a goalkeeper, bro. This is not like the Japanese league where you can play at the age of 45. <laughs> this is crazy. In terms of players that I've now brought in, having used nearly the entire budget, Jakobs comes in as a left back. Guess what? He's German. Leitch comes in as a center back. Guess what? He's German as well. And also Gerhard is coming in to have a few drinks. Gerhard from Wolfsburg joins into that center midfield position. 27-year-old brings in some experience into this squad. And he's not the only one with the experience. We brought in another Wolfsburg player. It's Waldschmidt. Luca Waldschmidt, who actually used to play for Benfica, returned to Germany now. And now he's coming over here 
to Mallorca to party for a little bit. And the team and the way it's set up now is like this. I'm going with a 4-3-3 attack for a uh, 4-3-3. Is it the attack one? False nine formation. Sorry, that's the one. And we're using Luca Waldschmidt as a center forward, as we should. Lee Kangin moves in into the right wing position. We're going to change his position. And Yaya plays left wing. Gerhard comes in, plays center midfield alongside Bataglia, who's only loaned in. Nice. Uh, Baba takes over the CDM position from the 48-year-old that we had on the team. Jakobs takes over the left back spot. Is an initial downgrade in rating, but still, he's young. So we can see him go up alongside another youngster that is Leitch. So I like the, uh, the fact that we have brought in some experienced players and some younger ones as well. Obviously, bringing in the experience up front, I expect them to do well, especially Valchmit. Uh, Valjent here is a 75 rated, remains in a squad. Maffeo as well. Rico, great goalkeeper, only loaned in. Nice. Uh, but that is the team now, guys. First season, we're set up, and uh, I don't know what to expect. I am kind of scared, I'll have to admit. This season is coming to an end, guys, and I've seen plenty of victories, which gives me hope that we didn't go down. And one thing I can say is Luka Waldschmidt had a good season until January. He was in the top three goal scorers. Now let's see how it all went. 14. I take that and I love it. 42 points, only five points away from relegation, though. Let's be honest here. Defensively, definitely not good enough. 71 goals conceded, which is the most after the team that is last place. So that clearly shows our defense has to step up their game. But at the top of the league, we have Real Madrid, we have Barcelona, we have Atletico Madrid. Uh, but things are going well for them. They are going to play Champions League. Who cares? We're going to we only care. We only care about our own teams. And Yaya up to a 79. Kangin up to a 79. Luka Waldschmidt, 78 rated, but doing bits. Gelhardt on that 77 still. Bataglia got a plus one. Baba, I believe it's a plus two for him. And Jacobs, or Jakobs, as I should say, because he's German, up to a 77. Let's go. Plus five. Leitch, only a plus one. He probably came over to Mallorca just to have drinks. No training at all. So, um, yeah, please, if you could step up your game, that'd be much appreciated, pal. Uh, Valjent, 77, uh, 78 rated. Maffeo, 80 rated. By the way, Mafia was also only loaned in. And the same goes for Fernino, who left us already. <coughs> because he got recalled from his loan. So, a lot of issues within the squad in terms of, like, depth and stuff. But, I am confident, seeing how well certain players have done, as we move into the next year. First season ends with Luka Waldschmidt on 18 goals. 17 of them in La Liga, which is great. And Yaya, 11 and 2. And, uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the squad seems to have sucked big time. Kubo with the plus six, uh, with the six assists. Kangin with the five, uh, five assists as well. Well done. Kubo is going to go over to Real Madrid and sit on the bench. Congratulations, pal. Uh, but generally speaking, this first season went exactly as planned. And maybe even better, seeing, seeing Luka Valchmi do as well as he has. So hopefully he still has some upside to him in the next year as well. Because I don't want to be spending more money to improve that center forward spot. Now the budget in season two is gonna be quite important for me, 26 million. Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. But again, um, I think I can work with that. I, I genuinely do. Who's this Gonzalez guy? 74 rated, 27 years old. Hey, not bad as a backup for now, I guess. Not too bad, but um, the main thing that I look at is that center midfield spot. So let's get someone immediately. And maybe for the first time, let's not go for a German this time around. But yeah, let's see. I genuinely think I've done wonders here, guys. We have brought in a center midfielder in the name of Lukic. Someone I've never used before. And I've seen people in the comments down below saying, Johnny, I love the fact that you keep on using players I've never used myself. This is one I haven't used. He is 25 years old. This is not a wonder kid, but he has some good stats on him. He looks very versatile and he's going to be playing in that center midfield spot with the medium medium work rates to support the likes of Baba and Gerhardt. And we have brought in a new right back. This guy plays for Genk in real life. And as far as I know, he's actually sick. So Munoz coming into the squad now. I believe he's Colombian. Yes, he is from Colombia. And the goalkeeper was gone. So obviously Sergio Rico was only loaned in. I had to bring in an old one that would cost me a very low amount. I brought in Adan for only 3 million. He's 35 years old. We're going to try and get the best out of him for this season at least. 
and then next season spend big money on a new goalkeeper coming in now we do obviously have Greif here but I didn't want to have a 74 rated goalkeeper we conceded way too many goals last season anyways so I needed a step up back there so ready to go Let's get it. Just one small change before we actually move into the season. Um, Leitch, the centre-back, has forced his way out of the club. Not even a release clause. He just forced his way out of the club. So I had to bring in an older centre-back in the name of Vertonghen. So, Vertonghen, if you can please lead the line as a 35-year-old, I'd really appreciate that, mate. And for now, since he is the oldest player in the team, I'll give him the captaincy band. Why not? Well, in this season... In 2023 in April, I am seeing a little bit of inconsistencies, but a couple of wins as well. If we could finish off with a strong month here in May, I have hopes that we finish above the position that we finished in last season. I have to admit, though, I don't necessarily think our team has massively improved, but I could be wrong. And I'm not. I'm not wrong. It's only the 13th position, guys. That's 47 points. Now, there's a bigger gap to the rele relegation spots, which is nice to see. But the Germans seem to be here to drink dude they're not here to play luka waldschmidt up to an 82 oh you know what i'm taking that back he's here to play gerhardt only a plus one jakob 78 rated again only a plus one vertongen minus four uh valgent or valgent whatever his name is i i'm assuming it's valgent actually because he's from slovakia but um 80 rated right now Munoz 80 love it Adan went down by minus two which was expected Lee Kangin has gone up Lukic has gone up Baba has gone up I believe and certain players on the bench are actually looking pretty solid to me which is great to see as well but um hopefully now that all those loaned in players are gone I can actually spend the money on the positions where I need to spend it without having to worry that certain players are leaving so ideally, in the upcoming season, we probably have to bring in a new center back and a new goalkeeper to take over. And performance wise, we are looking at Valschmidt again, top performer. Ndiaye has done well. I don't know why this Mbula guy plays so many games, but Lee Kangin with the 11 assists is the main man to contribute towards his teammates. But 13th man, only a plus one from last season. I don't like that. The budget for this season, actually better than before. 35 million. I feel like for once I can actually work with that. But at the same time, to bring in players that have the good enough rating at this stage, it's a tough task because they need to be like 78 to 80 rated. And that costs a lot of money. I mean, I could use the entire budget up on one player, to be honest with you. Well, I'm finishing off the transfer window with the signing of Alexander Nubel. Of course, he's German. He comes in into the squad and he's not the only one I'm signing. I have signed a player from Olympique Lyon, a player that I personally think has become a standout talent immediately as soon as he's taken over the spot for a German, actually. Boateng at Olympique Lyon kind of fell out with the coach and the team players, apparently. And Lukeba came in to play. And Castello Lukeba right now, the French centre-back, is looking very good from what I've seen so far. And I'm very excited to see the future of this kid. Left-footed centre-back, very good on the ball. Has me excited. And then Nubel comes in to take over that goalkeeping spot now. He is only 26 years old. Goalkeepers obviously can grow up until the 33s, 34s. So Nubel coming in with a little bit of experience in Germany. And of course, a little bit of experience over at AS Monaco. Having played a full season now for them. At least one full season. Um, that has me excited. So that's the setup for the season. I just need these boys to get to that 80 rating as quick as possible. And uh, yeah, if that can happen, that'd be great. I'd greatly appreciate that. I really hope to see some progression, but I'm not necessarily seeing it yet. Our budget just isn't enough to go ahead and bring in the right players at times. But it is nice to see that we do get that win here and there. I just don't see the consistency. And that seems to be the biggest problem of this Mallorca team as we speak. Now, once again, we finish in the 13th position. At some point, I just have to move on from some of these players. And I think I have to make a decision, especially for the midfielders. That decision has to come in because the attackers are looking quality. We have two originals from the squad doing really well. Waldschmidt came in and as old as an older player doing a great job. Lukic, 80 rated now. I respect that. 
Baba, 28 years old, not good enough at the moment. And Gerhard has pushed towards the 30. So both of these guys probably have to move on. Jakobs is still young, so I'll keep my faith in him. Luke Bar has done really well here, so I love that. Where the hell did my goalkeeper go? Wait, Nubu. Did he not play? Don't tell me he didn't play. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. Please don't tell me he did not play. He submitted a transfer request. He's the higher rated goalkeeper. Why didn't he play? <gasps> okay. That is... <laughs> that is painful. Um... So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to sell Nubu and buy him back. As stupid as it sounds, but that might just happen. I can't, I, I genuinely can't believe that that has happened. Like, <laughs> oh God, such pain. Anyways, that probably is one of the main reasons as to why the team didn't do as well. What a shocker. What an absolute shocker. 30 goals from Valchmid. What a beast, man. It's such a shame that the rest of the squad sucks. The attack is great, but the rest is just so bad. <laughs> so, another season only 13th. New season begins with 46 million. Now we're talking about money that can actually have an impact on this team. And as I said, sentiment, CDM. That needs to change immediately. So my friends, I've spent the entire budget on basically getting Nubel back after selling him and also bringing in a massive centre midfielder. Baba stays, he's 28. I'll give him one more season. But Shaparenko, the Ukrainian, is coming into the squad. Very happy to bring someone in uh, from Ukraine. 25 years old, has some incredible, incredible stats on him, as we can clearly tell there. Most importantly, the stamina is massive. So I fully expect him to be the engine of this squad alongside Lukic. I think this team should be finishing way harder than what we did last time. If we don't get a top 10 finish this season, something is completely wrong because our top players, the uh, front attacking players are doing exceptional jobs. The rest of the team right now needs to pull through and do much better than what they have done so far. And I think they will. If I don't see a top eight finish, I'm done, bro. Mallorca, stop disappointing me. Real Sociedad and Elche draw. Granada, Betis win. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing some success here and it gives me hope. I genuinely think Shaparenko turned this season around and uh, obviously Nubel actually playing starting lineup football helps as well. But in 2025, finally, we're seeing some progress and we can take a look at it. Yes, top 10, eighth position. That will give us even more money moving to the next season. And look at that front line, man. And Diaye is 28 years old, 87 rated. Valschmidt is 29 years old, 87 rated. Lee Kangin, 24 years old. Love him. Great talent. Lukic up to an 81. Abba up to an 81. How did that happen? Okay. Shaparenko, 85. Jakobs, finally above the 80. Thank God. Lukeba, 82 rated. Valgent, 81. I'm pro probably pronouncing his name completely wrong. Still annoys the hell out of me. Munoz, 83. And Nubu has gone up after... Letting him go on transfer and buying him back, his potential might have been glitched, which I will take on immediately. And actually, by the way, guys, we are forgetting that some of these players on the bench are looking quality. Hoppy, the American talent, is looking good. Mbula is doing really well for himself. Uh, Labres is doing well, or Yabres is probably his name. Febas is looking all right. And uh, Kufre is looking very good. 78 rated at this stage. I mean, he's close to challenging for the first, uh, first st the starting lineup, I should say. And in terms of goal scorers, what am, what am I looking at here? There we go. 19 and 5. Okay, not as successful. Bit worrying, but still a good average rating. He'll keep growing. NDI looking all right. Lee Kangin looking all right. And then Lukic with the 13 assists. Come on then. I like that. Man, top 10 finally. Now we get to spend even more money. Nice. 54 million. Just a 10 million increase basically from last season budget, my friends. But now we actually have a squad that looks good for the future, I think. I mean, it's it's not necessarily incredible. I get it. But still, we can do some bits here. 28 years old. Baba is 29. I just wonder where should I spend this money? Do I spend it on this centre-back position? I feel like defensively we've been weak. So now that I've upgraded the midfield with Shaparenko, it might be the right choice to upgrade that defence even more and spend big on that centre-back spot to like lift up 
the spine of this team. That's what I'm going to do. Another German is coming into the club, guys. We are bringing in a good one. Eric Martel, a CDM that plays for... Oh, wow. 78 rated. A straight swap for Baba. He is lower rated, I understand, but this guy's a massive talent. A lot of people in Germany expect him to be a big player next season uh, by going back to Germany. Currently, he plays for Austria Wien. Very talented, and I can't wait to see what he's going to do in Germany once he is back. He seems to be a big one so uh, for the future, so we'll see what happens there. But um, this is the setup now. I've also brought in Klosterman, and I still have like 20 million left to spend. So possibly could go for another player in that center midfield spot to upgrade even more. But Klosterman coming in, he is 29 years old, so we need success now. Ideally, with these purchases, we qualify for European football. But let me see if I can get another center midfielder. Well, my friends, I've done another deal. We have brought in another lower rated player. But this time, it's not a German, but he plays in the German Bundesliga. It's Franks. Coming into the squad, the Belgian is taking over his spot. He obviously, probably at this point, can speak German. So he'll feel fine in Mallorca. He'll be able to get around, get into the bars, have a good time, get home safe, you know, all those things. He's a great box-to-box -box midfielder. I'm excited to have him in the squad alongside Martel and Chaparenko. Uh, and uh, that attack, by the way, is so good. But yeah, I have really, really high hopes for this season. All right, guys, this season for sure has gone much better, much, much better. I've made some good signings and I'm seeing dubs and draws against big teams. I want to see how we play against like a Real Madrid there at the uh, end of May. What's it going to be? Uh, at the middle of May, we win against Real Madrid. That tells me we're going to be qualifying for European football and we need it desperately at this stage. 2026, Mallorca. The Germans are not only here to have drinks and party, they are here to actually play European football. Mallorca, number three. Numero tres, I believe. That's how you say it, right? 75 points, 72 goals scored, 44 conceded. Great defense. Lovely, lovely little finish ahead of Real Madrid. That is incredible. How did we pull that off? Well, we pulled it off because Ndiaye is 89 rated. Waldschmidt is 88. Kangin is an 89 rated player. Vranks and Martel have grown nicely. Our goalkeeper got injured, probably... Towards the end of the season there. Munoz looking all right. Close to man looking very good. Luke Keba looking incredible. Jakobs with a plus two. And the bench is filled with good players as well. Honestly, lads, this team could be special. Ndiaye with the most goals for the first time. Waldschmidt has been outdone. He has still done really well and he's only 30 years old. I hope to get at least two more good seasons out of him. Chaparenko with a great debut season alongside Vranks. No complaining over here. This season was quality. We are going to Europe. The drunk Germans are coming. <laughs> going into the season with newfound confidence and newfound money. My God, 120 plus mil. Um, now I have to think about where to spend that. I mean, there's a clear choice here, isn't it? We have to turn Jakobs into a backup. I think I do. And maybe improve Martel. Nah, man, I want to trust these boys. I want to give them the chance, honestly. I also want to give the chance to Jakobs. You know what? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not spending until January. If they don't grow, I'm spending. So let's see how that first Champions League season goes, my friends. We're beating Barcelona, but we're losing against Leicester. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> come on now, please. Come on. I beg. Don't do this. Oh my God. We lost against Leicester. How's that even a thing, man? How is that even a thing? I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, we beat Barca. We beat some big teams right here. We beat Real Madrid, but we can't get past Leicester City, bro. Anyways, we go again next season. I didn't think we should be winning the, the Champions League this season, but I was at least hoping for like quarterfinal hype, you know, but we, we didn't get it this time. Anyways, let's see how the season finishes. And most importantly, let's see if we actually finish in the Champions League spots again, because I haven't necessarily seen the most consistent results we get into that third position, miles away from Barcelona by the looks of things. It's okay. As long as we can finish in the Champions League spots, we get a huge amount of money each season. Now, do we need to utilize the money? Jakobs. Jakobs. 86. Yes. Now, the growth of Martel, not that good. 84. Uh, he looks great, though. Five star, five star now. Vranks did really well. 
Bach mit 91, 91, 92. Look at that. Look at that 87. Nubel a little bit low. Munoz, 86 rated. 30 years old. Oh, I hope he still goes up. I've had a couple of uh, fullbacks that still went up past the 30 year old age. So hopefully we will have him do so as well. Who has scored the most goals? It has been Waldschmidt again. What else did you think? The guy is carrying on his amazing legacy here at Mallorca. Of course he does. Every time the game is done, he goes out and parties, man. All the German people over there probably know him, right? There you go. Luca Waldschmidt living the life. What's the money? Do I need it? No. 213 million though. Could be fun. I don't want it. I don't want it. Martel up to an 85. I'm trusting the squad, guys. I'm going to get to the Champions League final with this squad right here. Nubel though. Step up your game, all right? All right? All right? Now, in this season, I'm not expecting a madness, but I am expecting to get past the player, the teams like Wolfsburg, of course. And at the same time, I would love to see us get at least into the semifinals. So the question is now, who is going to be our opponent in the next round of the Champions League? Is it going to be a big one or do we get lucky? It's Juventus. We win. Come on. 3-1, and now Liverpool. Is that going to be the one? Can we get past Liverpool? Yes, we can for the first time. It's the semi-finals, my friends. It's the finals in the Champions League for Mallorca. The Germans have taken over this club, and they have taken them to the final of the biggest trophy for a club. The team is looking great. And the IN95 rated at the age of 31. Unbelievable. Waldschmidt is going to be so much fun to try and use. Lee Kang Yin, incredible performance. But going into the game against um, our Champions League opponent with low stamina, Franks coming in with the 87 rating. Martel with the 88. Shaparenko, 89 rated. Jakobs up to an 88 after. Initial problems with him on that left back spot. Luke Ba, Klosterman, Munoz, and Nubel only 86 rated. Boys, we still made it though. And as a good backup for that Lee Kang in position, we have Embula to come in and do bits as a five star, five star player. So uh, that should not be that much of an issue. And we do have Hoppy as a backup striker as well. So it is time to step into it. But also, we, we got to show respect. To Luca Waldschmidt. He has 54 goal contributions this season. I cannot wait to use him. You know what? The rest of the team done well for themselves. I'm proud of all of them. But Luca Waldschmidt is the guy. 32 years old at this point. No one would have thought I that uh, that this guy would ever be this high rated. And that's what I love about my recent rebuilds, man. Taking players that no one really takes to these heights and just having fun with it. Now, I'm about to have fun against Barcelona if they don't have a ridiculous team. Oh, they have Vahi, who I had in one of my career modes recently, and he was like 91 rated. Ansu Fati, Ferran Torres, De Jong, Pedri, Pogba. Ooh, okay. Theo Hernandez, De Ligt, Romero, Benitez, Testegen. I don't know about Benitez, but the rest of the team looks unbelievable to me. And here is the big moment, my friends. We're stepping up against Barcelona. And I have to say, there's one player I'm really worried about, and that is Vahi. The reason why is he's fast, he's physical, and he's an unknown entity to a lot of you guys out there as well. Probably not a lot of you guys have used him yet, but I've used him and he felt incredible. So now that the AI is using him with the ultimate difficulty, I fully expect him to destroy me. But it's going to be very... Oh, wow. Okay, Barca, chill. <laughs> Can we not start off like that, please? Thank you very much. Uh, it's going to be very important to me to have a strong defense in this one because Barcelona's attack is ridiculous. But we have some space with Ndiaye. Ndiaye. Come on. Original of the Mallorca squad. Early on into the game, a counter-attack from Amath Ndiaye. What a man. What a goal. What a start. Come on, then. Keep it up, boys. Keep doing what you're doing right now. And just don't concede. Easy, right? Oh, just because I said easy, you don't have to score straight away. Come on, man. I didn't disrespect you that much. Don't, don't be like that, Barca. Vahi with the first chance there. Great passing play again. 
Franks sees his teammate Kang Yin Lee down the right. Kang Yin Lee with the low stamina. We got to get something out of you immediately before he leaves the pitch. Shaparenko, you got to score that. Oh, mate. Oh, that is terrible defending. Vahi is going to score. What a save. Nubu. Oh, Xavi can't believe it. Oh, what is that? Who the hell is defending that? Kang Yin Lee just looking awful there. And whew, Barcelona, definitely the more dominant side ever since we scored. But maybe now, maybe now there's something in it for our team. Luka Waldschmidt trying to get away from Pogba. Seems to be a tough task. Brings it back to Martel. Luka Waldschmidt, I see your run. No, 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 Martel. You got to be playing a better pass than that, pal. What a ball. Yes, Castello Lukeba. Love that name, by the way. Here he goes. Franks pushing on his teammate here on the right. Nothing coming off of it, sadly. Kang Yin Lee gets it under control. Skills a little bit, has a little bit of fun and loses the ball immediately. Yes, that's what I love. Let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Whoopa! <laughs> that's Waldschmidt. Let's go. What a start. Oh, mate. Whoever that was needs to be subbed off immediately. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Castello Luqueba. What a player. Mate, I'm loving him in that defense. I got to tell you. Here he goes again. Luqueba up against a very, very strong attacker. Ansu Fati getting destroyed by Luqueba. Not once, but twice. You love it. Shaparenko. Shaparenko moves forward, sees Kang Yin Lee down the right, making a great run. Kang Yin Lee near post. Oh, of course, that doesn't go in. Here we go, Shaparenko. Hajmeet. He's so good on the ball. I love it. I absolutely love it. Go on, Eric Martel. Smacks it. And it's a defender with the deflection. But it's so much fun to use Waldschmidt, man. I got to tell you, the fact that we have a 93 rated Luka Waldschmidt is just amazing to me. Now, Vranks has a good long shot, and it is. It is a very good long shot. Doesn't work out, though. You know what? I'm going to find him again. How can I choose him, please? There we go. Vranks, we're going to try something fancy. Let's do it. Cross coming. Volley. No. Yes, let's go. Waldschmidt looking for his teammates at the back. Finds Martel without really wanting to. Vranks, great run, great pass. Kang Yin Lee with no stamina. Kang Yin Lee with no stamina. Doesn't work out and Shaparenko tries again. Oh, mate, I'm having so much fun here. Martel, Vranks. Imagine, imagine if that skill move actually went through his legs. Uh-oh, this is an issue. Uh-oh, this is an issue. Musiala now subbed on for Barcelona. My God, how many talents do you need? Vahi, Lukeba. I only need one. I only need one and his name is Lukeba. Look at that. Unbelievable. Martel now pushing forward with the likes of Franks. Franks through on goal. This all started through Lukeba. No freaking way did you miss that. Oh my God, bro. What? Oh my. Yes. Nubu steps up against Zaniolo who got subbed on. For Vahi. Oh, mate. That was big. Clear it. Clear it immediately. Only a couple of minutes left until the Champions League trophy is in our hands. Or is in the hands of Klosterman. Let's go, Vranks. One more time. Let's do it one more time. Yes. Kang Yin Lee. Batchman in the center. No. I gave the ball away with only a couple of seconds to go. Don't do this. Don't do this. Barca, I beg you. Yes, Martel. He's in the right spot. We win. The biggest cup trophy. Yes. The drunk lads have done it. No. 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 Oh, my God, bro. I'm just as drunk, it seems. I just skipped the celebrations, bro. What? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I always like to finish off with the trophy in the hands, but... Hey, not this time, it seems. I guess let's take a look at the league table because from what I know, we didn't win the league. Oh, we did. We did. It's the double. We were so far away from first place. Last time I checked, that's why I said we didn't win the league. But this is even better. Let's go. Mallorca have won it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. 
and I will catch you next time. We have won the quadruple. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good one and peace.